wonder why is Luca Pasoli called the father of accounting? Or to be precise, why is Luca Pasoli called as the father of modern method of accounting? Hmm, we usually give the reasons that he invented the modern method of accounting or he was the first person to publish a book about accounts. Both the reasons that we usually know or give are wrong. Come let's wonder why is he called as the father of modern method of accounting. Let us go little away from this story so that we can come back way more closer into this. Now, if I ask you a question as to who was the first one to fly an aircraft, we usually give the reason as Wright Brothers, that is uh, in the year 1903. But in 1895, an Indian by name Shivkar Bapuji Talpade actually came out with an unmanned aircraft which was flying. In fact, there are quite a lot of people between Shivkar Bapuji Talpade and Wright Brothers who actually made a flying aircraft. But it was not called as an aircraft because there were certain definition criteria that it was supposed to fulfill. If we look little deep into the case of Shivkar Bapuji Talpade, it was so found that he drew inspiration from a book by name Vimana Shastra, which was orally told by Bharadvaja Muni or Rishi Bharadvaja and it was written by one of his disciples. This goes even centuries behind. Now, let's come back to Luca di Pasoli, the father of modern method of accounting. In the year 1494 AD, Luca di Pasoli wrote a book by name Summa di Arithmetica, Geometrica, Proportionality and Proportionalita. The literal meaning in English goes to all about geometry, arithmetic and proportions. In this book, he wrote roughly about 27 pages with respect to accounts. We can't stop ourselves here by going back to the questions that I read previously. Did he invent method of accounting? Actually not. Luca di Pasioli in his book recorded the practices made by the merchants then in the city of Venice. Meaning that 27 pages whatever he wrote about accounting or bookkeeping is the practices which was already in force by the merchants in the city of Venice. So he didn't invent it but wrote about the practices already in force. If the question is regarding is Luca di Pasioli the first guy to publish the book on accounts? Answer is again a no here as I told you previously. In fact, way before Luca di Pasioli, back in 1340 AD, there was an Italian treasurer by name Messari who made the first publishing regarding accounts or bookkeeping. If you look more deeper into the history, there were records found regarding Romans in the Jewish community back in 70 AD and the bankers of Cairo back in 11 AD writing records similar to what we follow now. But it was just records of accounting but not a practice of accounting or instructions how to follow accounts. If we look more deeper into the history, we will go back to before Christ term, the 2nd century before Christ or the 3rd century before Christ to the age of Chanakya or Kautilya who lived in the kingdom of Chandragupta Maurya. Chanakya or Kautilya wrote a book by name Arthashastra. The literal English word for the term Arthashastra means English and sorry means economics and in this book he basically told that economics cannot be learnt as a separate topic from accounts and bookkeeping. So that was a book which mainly regarded as the guidance by the Kautilya or Chanakya to uh, King Chandragupta Maurya and in that book he has mentioned about how to maintain books of accounts and how to even audit those books of accounts literally maintain. But even today we regard Luca di Pasioli as the father of modern method of accounting for a reason, for an absolute reason that the method of accounting or the accounting cycle what we follow today, the closest relevance to that or the earliest mention of that in a printed form is available then and two beautiful reasons that number one, Luca di Pasioli's book is the first published book in the printed format and the second reason is the book was published in vernacular Italian language which was widely used.